Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Being a Linux user, there are so many amazing applications available to us, most of which are open source and most of which are free. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you've probably seen some of my favorite programs that I use on a regular basis, such as Simple Screen Recorder, OpenShot, GRSync, and countless many other programs. But what are my top five best Linux programs in early 2018? Well, that's actually what I'm going to be going over today. So these are programs that are some of my favorites so far that I've begun using more and more and that are all available within the software manager for free except for one program that I'm going to be going over on this list. So let's go ahead and start with my number five favorite program and that is Redshift. So Redshift is a program that will adjust the color temperature of your screen and the brightness based upon the time of day. Now, if you are a Windows user, you probably heard of a program called Flux. So this is very similar, but I think this is a better program. And so whenever you start it, you probably can't see it here, but it is adjusting the color temperature and brightness of my screen. And then what will happen is there will actually be a little program up here on your toolbar up here, your taskbar. And then here, you could have it enabled. You could suspend it after a certain amount of time. You can have it auto start every time you start your computer. And here's a little info right here and you could quit the program this is a very simple program but I absolutely love Redshift because I am on my computer a lot and so by having this program adjust all these things such as the color temperature and brightness throughout the day it really helps my eyes quite a bit and so that is my number five favorite program so my number four favorite program is the one that is not available in the software manager and that program is RetroPie. So if you've been watching my channel you know I'm a huge retro gamer and so my favorite emulator is MAME but RetroPie is another awesome emulator for the simple fact that it's able to play games from a lot of different systems and so you have a lot more flexibility when it comes to the type of game systems and platforms that you enjoy playing them on. And so this is a emulator that is available on multiple platforms. So if you have used this on Windows or Mac, you'll feel right at home whenever you're using it in Linux. And so the number three best Linux program in early 2018 is GNU Cache. And so this program is something that is familiar to a lot of veteran Linux users, but it is a program that continually provides so much value, especially if you're trying to manage your money and also keep track of everything that you are using for personal and also for business. So if you're not familiar with GNU Cache, this is basically Quicken for Linux users. And obviously it is free to use. Now this can be used something for as simple as your personal budget or you can even use it for your business expenses and reporting as well. So this is a very powerful program and the GNU Cache team have been around for a long time and they've done an amazing job in keeping this not only updated but also relevant and so if you are really a person who is concerned about the type of money that you spend or also the type of money that you earn then GNU Cash is a must so my number two favorite program is GPIC and if you're not familiar with GPIC you will be because this program is amazing and very simple to use for people who do things such as web design or graphics. So if you could see here, wherever I move my cursor, it'll actually not only show me the color and the image right here, but it'll also give me the hex value. This is very important for people who do any type of website work or designs. And then if you go to a website here, you could easily use the GPIC program to pick out colors that you like on a website. And all you have to do is press space bar and it'll add it to whatever color number that you have here and then you can also double click it and add it to your palette and then what's awesome is you could do many other advanced things for people who do designs you could go out to layout preview right here you could move the colors here and here so you could kind of get an idea of how it might look like see right there for your text your background there's so many things that you could do here and it is extremely powerful and simple to use. You could also change the different type of layouts as well. So you could kind of get a preview of how this would look like with the various color schemes that you have chosen. And you could also 
take this out as a CSS file as well. And there's many other important properties here. So this is a must have for anybody who does any type of website or graphic design. And it's like I said, it's very easy to use, but powerful. So what is my number one best Linux program in early 2018? Well, that program is Pinta. Now, if you are a Linux user, you might have used this before. And what it is, is an image editing program. What I love about Pinta is the fact that it gives me a lot of power that I would normally get out of GIMP, but it does it in a very simple and quick way. So whenever I use Pinta, I can do pretty much all of what I need, such as layering, various different tools that I wouldn't use in GIMP or something like Photoshop. It allows me to easily resize images, crops, all those things that you would normally do when you are editing images. However, it does it in a very easy and quick way. And so this is a program that I use quite a bit and I love it. You know, I would easily play for this program because this program is something that I think a lot of people who just want to do quick, easy edits and alterations to the images, they would appreciate this. You know, whereas GIMP, very much like Photoshop, it's a lot more for power users. And so this is a program that will probably definitely be beneficial for more people across the board. And so those are the top five best Linux programs in early 2018. And so if you had any thoughts on any of these programs that I talked about, or maybe you had your own list of top Linux programs, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And as always, if you did enjoy these videos, you got value out of them, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.